things I like to do each week is to go down to our mail room and look for new story ideas. It's a busy, hectic place, and you never know what you might find. Like this letter here. It's from a ball guy who says that if he eats enough alligator meat, his hair will grow back. I don't know about that one. Hi, Skip. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Wait a minute now. Let's see what this is. Dear Skip, I watch you on TV and think you're really cute. You've also got great-looking lips, and I bet you're a good kisser. If you're interested, I'd like to invite you to be a judge in a kissing contest. Located above the barbershop in downtown Phoenix, radio station KOPA has a few problems in their mailroom. They've been swamped with cards and letters in response to their search for the best set of lips in Phoenix. Thousands of listeners have sent in lip prints with the hope of becoming one of the ten finalists. You ever seen one lip? <laughs> Wrinkled lips. She's 83. Copa, K-O-P-A-F-M with Robert M. Chenault. Well, tomorrow night is the big night, our K-O-P-A kiss-off with ten of the hottest set of lips in town, and it is going to be crazy. And guess who's coming to Phoenix to be one of the judges? Skip Stevenson from Real People. And we know Skip's ready. Before I knew it, I was backstage with the other two judges and blindfolded. We could hear the crowd go crazy as the 10 best kissers were introduced. What do you do for a living? Printing company. You're, you work for a printing company? I'm a stripper. She's a stripper, ladies and gentlemen. I live in Phoenix, and what do you do for a living? Um, I work for the Center Against Sexual Assault. <laughs> yeah, it was obvious that they brought out their heavy hitters for this contest. The lineup for the judges started with a local sportscaster. My strategy was a real nice sound when I give a kiss, like a moan or something that reacts to a male. Well, I think you just gotta like to do it. The next judge was a recording star. Well, while I was doing it, I was mostly listening to hear my husband's reaction. And all I heard from him was, go, Donna, go, give it to him. A super kiss has to be backed by passion. Finally, it was my turn. The crowd went wild, but I wasn't worried. I was in good shape. I'd been working out and was as cool as a cucumber. I noticed that Skip Stevenson's upper lip was perspiring profusely, and I had to work around that. After a while, the crowd was in such a frenzy that volunteers came up from the audience. Like I said, I couldn't see what was coming. Oh, one Give me one last kiss. It never felt like this. Now, baby, not like this. Jaws egg, lips restored. Oh, one more time. Baby, one more time. It really is. Survive. I've been practicing long and hard for almost six years. A good kiss is a nice, long, juicy one. Eat your heart out, Miss Purcell, and pay attention, Byron. He was the one that was groping a lot, I noticed. He, he liked to use his hands a lot, Skip Stevenson. 